Hello everybody, welcome to the Hacienda. Rivet here, glad you could join me. Uh, when people think of vegetable soup, uh, very few people will actually think of a cauliflower soup. I'm definitely one of them. Cauliflower has never been one of my favorite vegetables. However, this Hungarian soup, Kurfjulevish, once you make it, I will tell you, you will love cauliflower and you will be coming back again and again and again to make it more. It is that good and so simple to make. In this cold winter weather, it's rainy outside, it's about 35 degrees. This is the kind of soup you need. You take about a, a medium head of uh, cauliflower, uh, put it into florets, add a little bit of salt, and <clears throat> about two quarts of water, one and a half, two quarts of water. And then what you're going to do is parboil it, uh, just starting to cook over, I'd say, medium heat. While the cauliflower is parboiling, you're going to make a roux with uh, half a stick of butter and about six or seven uh, generous tablespoons of flour. Now, once the roux is made and uh, you've cooked it over low heat for about a minute or two, you don't want to brown it. You just want to cook it a little bit. We're going to add a generous three tablespoons of paprika and then immediately take it off the heat, turn it off. After parboiling, the uh, cauliflower is starting to get slightly soft. Uh, we're going to add the roux that we made with the um, uh, paprika, and we're going to stir it in and thicken up the soup. Now, once we got all the uh, roux and the paprika in the soup, uh, we've turned off the heat, and just with the residual heat, we are going to cook the, um, uh, the roux, and uh, it's starting to smell really, really good right now. Once the, um, the soup has been uh, cooking for about 20-30 minutes over low to no heat. Uh, we are going to add one bunch of chopped parsley, fresh parsley, and eight ounces of sour cream. Then we're going to mix it all together. Once we've added those ingredients and stirred them in, uh, we correct for salt. I had to add about another teaspoon or so. And we're going to bring it to a boil and then turn it off. And that's it. It's ready to eat. Very simple, I told you it was, and delicious. Let's see what a plated picture looks like. Oh, this smells so good. What a delicious soup. So easy to make and perfect for this weather. So rainy outside. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, so I made a mess. That's okay, look at this. All steamy, rich. It's definitely a stick to your ribs meal. Very nice. And let me tell you, people, this makes uh, cauliflower a star. This is some seriously good stuff for cauliflower. Mmm. Cauliflower is still slightly crunchy. Um, you really don't want to cook this till it's mushy. If you have to, put the cauliflower at the end and then just cook it until it's at the right point. Because there's nothing worse than mushy cauliflower. Mmm. It's not hot. They just got a paprika flavor, really brightened up by the fresh parsley. And I think that's why it's so good in the middle of winter, because it reminds you of summer and good vegetables. And it's thick and hearty, rich enough to be a complete meal. Piece of bread and butter, glass of beer, glass of milk, would be a perfect meal. Glad you liked it.